Okay, come on, Chapa. Get in the Chapa now! Do it! 200 limit, go! Alright, so Chopper's doing its thing. We're, we're just we're just not going to stress about it, okay? We're just not going to stress about it. Do your thing. You're, you're doing great. Oh, there's no food. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello everybody and welcome to Banished... The Banished Challenge! We're here, we've got the challenge issued to us by One Last Midnight. I'm not going to dive into all the details yet. As you can see, there's a timer. We have a four hour limit to get this done. I'm actually wasting a little bit of time right now just doing a little chit chat. Let me explain a couple things. I have set timing rules. I have set... Uh, there's, there's tons of rules. If you haven't seen the video before, I can't... Um, I have forced game speed of of one time speed. Wait, for the first five minutes at two times speed. And the majority of the time is at five times speed. In the last 30 minutes, I can do 10 times speed. Okay. I can't have farmers the first five years. I can't have teachers the first 10. And no doctors for the first 15 years. Okay. My first tactical pause is at the start of the game. And I can take like, what, five minute limits for, yeah, max pause length is five minutes. The losing conditions are the colony dies. Or there's forfeit so I've got to learn to survive somehow now I'm gonna rearrange this a little bit um, I don't I don't like this setup this is silly that's right I'm talking about you buddy okay there's the events production boom let's get this set up cool that's nice there you go resource limits I mean sure we'll put that over there and then I love me the map Okay, here's the thing. No nomads, so it's all xenophobic nonsense. Let's take a look at what's going on here. Currently, oh my gosh, we have 11 people that are sick and we can't have hospitals. <laughs> Firewood is low. It's early summer. We've got a little bit of logs. Uh, we've got 500 food. We've got a good amount of tools and clothing and stuff. But everybody is sick right now with something. <clears throat> and somebody's putting out a fire? Where's a fire? What? Where's their fire? And why are you all the way over here? What are you doing, people? Nobody has a house, right? Oh, they've all crashed. That's right, they've all crashed from here on our ship. It's smashed into everywhere. We currently have a lean-to. Um, I actually can't see... One second, I can't see the, the timer. Do, do, do. There we go. Okay, I can see the timer now. Sorry, I just had to jump out of the game there for just a second. Um, okay, what do we have? We, we currently have some little shacks. Oh, these are all burnt up. That's what's on fire. And there's some other stuff that's on fire over here too. I see. Okay, so we've got some structures that are on fire. Um, we can't have doctors. And if I remember correctly, oh, I, I got to remember... Um, I don't know. I thought there was a discussion, and I, I thought I already had this in my head. So we can't have doctors, but we can get herbs? And gosh, this is going to disqualify me immediately if I get this wrong. Um, right. So, are there any professions at all? No. No professions have been done. All right. Are we ready? Are we ready to do this? Uh, we've got a little shack here. We need to... I think the first thing's first. We need to rebuild the shacks, or should we... Should we... I mean, I guess I need to do herbs, right? We have to, um, if we're not going to have any doctors. And we hope that the population does, doesn't get completely screwed. Uh, otherwise, this is going to be a nice quick one now, isn't it? Okay. Let's go ahead and um, we will... Let's plan some things out. Now, this is not Megamon. This is a Colonial Charter. So, we're going to have gatherers here. We're going to have our hunters maybe like right there. And then we're going to have... I know that I'm paused right now. I'm still within the five minutes. So there's the lodge, and then if we go to medical, apothecary would make me think doctor, right? I mean, it's not a doctor, but it's a doctor. But the her herbologist, does that count? I don't know if that counts, guys. I have no clue. Um, all right, I'm unpausing. 
Let's let the fire guys deal with, with what they're going to deal with over there. Yeah, we got houses and housing on fire. Oh, and it's already spreading. Oh, jeez. No, these were the ones that were on fire. Now, if it messes with this lean-to, we're going to lose all of our stuff. We're going to lose everything. Let's get a couple of builders going over here. We're one-time speed. Let's be one-time speed until we, we figure out and lay out a couple more things. Come on. Can you, can you guys... Look, they're going to get water. Some people are completely dumbfounded. I've actually seen this before where they just don't know what to do and the pathing is horrible. And they just completely lose their friggin' minds. There we go. We'll get a little road going there. Is that my only stockpile? And it's pretty darn full. So, let's go ahead and get ourselves another one here. I know, I'm just like, that's all burning. People are sick. Everybody's gonna die. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great fun. Okay, those are burning down. I will mark this to be done first. And I mean, these are just burning down. We'll rebuild them. I'm not sure what the tiny shacks take. Um, they take wood and they take a little bit of stone. So actually, that's probably not a bad idea to get them rebuilt. Now we have only 500 food. Okay, the disaster technically is over, right? So except for the fact that everybody's sick. And tiny shack, there we go. All right. So, oh, we're at two times speed already. Okay, all right, so leave it alone. We're at two times speed. Let's go ahead and mark up all these trees to get removed so I can actually see. And then we'll say stone and iron over here as well. I, I have not told them to do anything over here yet. The Forcer Lodge, the Gatherer's Hut, and those two are paused. And then we've got the Herbalist over here. I, I think? That that's okay. I don't know, <laughs> to be completely honest. Um, anyway, so I'm going to record these in like 30 minute segments, I think. Either way, we'll have the timer up and you guys will be able to see what's going on. Now, the two times speed is, is killing my soul slowly, but that's okay. We'll get over that. All right, so all these people, I don't know what's going on. A lot of them are getting over their sickness. I'm a little afraid to make the herbalist, actually. I really am. So is there anything for them to make right now? What are they making right here? The hunting cabin. Um, I would rather them do the gatherer's hut first, to be honest. So they're, we've already marked them over here to, to take all this stuff out. Resource limits. I, I don't need that. I don't ever play with that anyway. Here, let's put the pause ones up here. The herbalist is over here. The lodge is over there. We need gatherer's hut for sure and the hunting cabin, absolutely. And then we need to rebuild these guys, which I've already marked them to be done. So, um, what do we need to do? <clears throat> Let's let them do, do let them do their thing over here. Let's start planning and see what we've got going. We've got our main river here and one bridge. We've got a lot of stuff we can dig here. We've got some area here for mining that we can do. One of the biggest things that we could push on is um, trading like as quickly as we can. I think that might not be a half bad idea. Town arrival would be a really good idea. I don't know why this is not complete. I need that to be done so that this resource gathering actually won't take that long. And then this here. I'm going to do just a normal little stockpile. And then we'll also do a, a wood stockpile. That'll be a bit bigger for our people. I, I would like this to be finished as soon as possible. Probably my biggest challenge is going to be uh, prioritizing because I can't just speed things up. So that's gonna be it's gonna be really hard. You know what? I I should ping, I should ping somebody in the. While I'm doing this right now, I'm gonna ping somebody in the Discord room and say, "Is an herbalist allowed?" That, that's what I'm gonna do so I know. Let's see, is an herbalist allowed? Okay, somebody died of influenza, and it was the one person. So quite frankly, we did okay. We did okay. Um, I'm a little surprised at how well we did, but we did okay. I really would like them to actually do, you know, pause. Gosh, what are you people dense? Like here, can you finish both of these stockpiles, please? My goodness, because they're going back and forth. I mean, I guess they don't have anywhere to live. We got to get these homes up and going as well. Um, but I need these stockpiles first so we can do all this other crap. And I guess right now I will I will cancel a lot of that stuff so the pathing doesn't freak out. This is going to be our lifeline. Log, stone, and iron is near capacity. Weird. 
Weird how it's that way. Hmm? Okay, so they're doing their thing. They're actually working on it right now. So, you know, to reward them, I'll unpause the gatherer's hut. How's that sound? All right, so we've got that going. We've got these homes marked to be uh, corrected as well. Let's look around. We've got a lot of good area over here. We can't do any farming. No farming whatsoever. Okay, not for the first five years. I have no idea what seeds we have. We're going to have to get the town arrival up to actually take a look at that. I don't know if we have any animals right now. I don't, I don't see any. I seriously doubt that we do. But we can start planning and building things even though we're not ready for them, right? Like we can we can plan ahead like we always talk about. This is a perfect little area. This this little bump, I'm not even worried about that. That just means we have a little bit more to not manage for our people. So they're building the homes and they they just finished the stockpiles. They're working on the gatherer's hut as well. We need that to happen as soon as possible ASAP. We could do a little barn here if we wanted to, but you know what? Resources are a little thin. They are actually chopping down some of the ones here. I, I don't mind actually what they're doing right now. I think this is perfectly fine. We do have a few things that we could use. <clears throat> we do have the the water scavengers that we could just dot up and down here and just do a ton of food in my opinion. Uh, we don't have the hunter's blinds in this build but uh, we could use a similar thing. These water scavengers per person were actually quite good. So I think what I can do is I'm not pausing, right? But we can go ahead and we can put down just like a handful of these guys just to get them in and remember them. So let's do that and we'll pause as we go because we don't want them working on this right now. This is not the highest priority. The gatherer's hut and the hunting lodge, highest priority. And then the, um, and then the forester lodge. Not until year 15. Gosh dang it. Okay. Thank you. All right, well, there we go. And I, I did mark the game to not pause on disasters as well. Reserve of food is low. Yes, we know that. So we've got our storage stuff down. Wood stockpile, normal stockpile. That stockpile is done. Stockpiles are good to go. Now we're finishing off these buildings over here. Gatherer's Hunt is getting very close. A lot of these homes are, are getting there too. Let's actually watch these. I'd like to keep the ones that are currently here. Now, one way we can mitigate some risk of... Oh, geez. It's... Oh, it's so cold! Um... It's cold, and do we have a wood chopper? Oh, I did not think about this. Oh, I paused! Dang it. Doesn't that count? Yeah. Pretty sure that counts as my tactical pause. Dang it. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, okay. And the wood choppers are huge! Oh my gosh. Get out of here. All right, so this one's this one's getting built. Don't, don't pause, Night Ghost, you sack of garbage. All right. And we're doing this by years, and currently it's year two. We're into year two. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so they're doing all this, yada, yada, yada. Please finish up. Uh, in fact, let's just let's just get eight builders and just say anything that's done, just build the darn thing. Like the gatherers head over here is going to be good. Um, we've got these guys over here. Okay, the lean-to is actually quite nice. I'm glad that we have that. We don't need to worry about tools probably this first year because of how few people we have. But we do need to worry. The temperature is getting incredibly low. We're gonna grab all of the um, all the firewood pretty darn fast. Once like one of these homes finish, I'm gonna go ahead and mark. Yeah, that this guy right here, this chopper needs to get finished now, like super super fast. Town arrival. I don't care about that right now. We're gonna mark that as paused. Okay, this shack is done. Fantastic. Uh, firewood is low. We pulled all the firewood into that home. Which is actually not a bad idea because then people can go there and warm up. The bad thing is now, though, this guy doesn't have any firewood and we only have like 100 food. So what we're going to do is actually pause this other shack because we're going to be shooting ourselves in the foot. This uh, this gatherer's hut needs to finish like now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, gather all the food. Thanks. Bye. Um, is this guy done? Please go build it. Thank you. Food is really low. Please go build this! Do it now! You, why are you putting things there? I need builders to come over here. Oh my gosh. Look at this. These people. These people are hungry. Okay, I've got four gatherers now. This is good. They are going to have to traverse quite a ways, but at least we're going to be bringing in some food. I will unpause the hunting cabin now. Um, the hunter or the gatherer's hut is good. Whatever. 
I'm afraid we're gonna lose a couple people because of this hunger thing right now. So I'm gonna mark, oh, just please, just everything in this general area, pick it up. Child with no home, I'm sure you can pick up a mushroom and shove it into your face, please, thank you. Looks like she's working on the, wait, where is it? Oh, the chopper's right here. Oh, there wasn't supplies. I was looking at the town arrival. That's my bad. Yep, they might die if, if we don't uh, if we don't figure this out. Oh, they just dumped food. Is this full? No, it's not full. But there's food here. And look, are you taking it there? Where are you going? Don't steal. Oh, he's putting it in through the uh, lean-to. People, go get food. Okay, and then, <laughs> please. Okay, they got food, but they're cold. Chopper, please get finished. Oh, my gosh. Holy crap. Please, please, please. You're cold. Go somewhere. I, I think this isn't like a person is cold. It's this house has no warmth. And then this this guy's like, boop, I'm just going over here and take care of this. So the hunting cabin is unpaused. The gatherer's hut is, is working. We're going to need to get the forester up real quick, aren't we? Yes. Yes, we are. Let's go ahead and mark a few trees to get knocked down as well so that we can chop the crap out of those things. We're halfway done building the chopper. Oh, man. We're halfway done building the chopper. I'm I'm like on pins and needles right now. Like I don't even want to think about planning anything else out. Even though we should. We should be thinking about that. But I want this chopper to be done and then I'm gonna get somebody on it immediately. Poor people. And then there's nine people that just don't have anywhere to live. So once we get this up, we can I, I mean I guess actually let's unpause this tiny shack and get this going. This is a weird little placement here, isn't it? Okay. Come on, Choppa. Get in the Choppa now. Do it. 200 limit, go. All right, so Chopper's doing its thing. We're, we're just we're just not going to stress about it, okay? We're just not going to stress about it. Do your thing. You're, you're doing great. Oh, there's no food. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There's no food. But we have marked a lot of these. Oh, we finished this. Fine, get somebody there for food. Gosh dang it, I didn't, I missed one. I missed one. I'm like constantly looking over to make sure I'm not breaking any of the rules. <sighs> Come on, I guess, you can do it. Nine logs, are you getting any firewood? Oh, there you go. And this home is done? I don't care, this thing's up and running. We need to rock and roll on this. All right, so all the homes are up. We still need six more people to have a home. They're hungry, oh jeez. Come on. Come on, townspeople. Let's do this. No, let's not go that far away. Um, let's build a tiny little barn. An actual small barn right here. It's going to take 30 wood and 8 stone, which I have a bit of stone. So we'll take that. Uh, town arrival's been paused because we don't need that. That's this moment. We will soon. It is cold still. Um, I don't know what's going on. Are you putting the firewood here? Great. 16 firewood. Come and, come and get it, people. We're going to build some homes out here as well. So don't you guys worry. We've got plenty of stuff that's actively being built. Small barn and the hunting cabin are currently taking up those seven builder slots that we have right now. Come on, hungry, hungry hippos. Let's rock and roll. Are you are you moving? What did you That looked like food, but it was actually logs and you're making firewood. So we have firewood. I, I really wish people would go grab it and take it home. It's a little unfortunate. But, uh, and so, somebody died of starvation. Okay, granted, that's my own dang fault now, isn't it? Um, I guess I will say, please, laborers, take care of this food right here. That is food on the ground. Go, go, go. Firewood is low. But we have a little bit of food in the coffers. 25, not enough to do much of anything. Oh my gosh, this is going to be an interesting challenge. I love the restrictions, though. It makes me happy. Okay, so you need food, but you got firewood. You had the initiative to warm up. Now go shove something in your face, please. Thank you. Can you do that? Let's take a look. We've got uh, a boy of age. Um, nope. Nope. And nope. Oh, we need them to have more children. Somebody else died of starvation. Great. <laughs> oh, jeez. So we've lost three people so far. One to illness and two to starvation. Come on, people. Okay, they got a little bit of food. They they harvested the little bit of stuff right here. Good job, you. And then the gatherer, what the heck are you doing? Fantastic. Look at all that food that they're getting. I can't even believe it. The small barn's going to get built here soon. Wow. 
Okay, so the herbalist can't be built yet. Let's just stop tracking that. We're not we're not doing that. All right. I almost I almost broke the rules. Jeez Louise. Firewood is low. I'm not worried about it. We've got a decent amount of logs. We've got Mr. Mr. P Pants face here. What's his name? Uh, his name is Stone Wallace. Why aren't you digging stone or something? He's making firewood for us. Good job, you. All right. All the homes are there. There's at least enough firewood, and there's a tiny bit of food in the coffers. Oh my gosh. Huh. I'm freaking out a little bit. Yeah, we're not worried about you, herbalist, like at all. In fact, I might get rid of you just so stuff will grow there. I need more people. I need to be super on top of making sure everybody has a, has a home to move into. They can start making families and all that stuff. So currently we have a we have a boy that is ready, and that's it. And we've got a boy, and a boy, and a boy, and one girl. Oh my gosh. I think the people that died, Aidan's Brian. I don't know about that one dying. But it looked like that was the majority of our girls. <laughs> and we can't take in nomads. Oh, dear. This is going to be good. Uh, you have brought in exactly no food. Why? <laughs> Why have you not brought anything in? Okay, hunting cabin is almost complete. I'll just keep watching that. It's 91%. I'll drop down the builders and we'll get people working there as well. Actually, what I might do is um, is get them to build this this stinking barn first because the back and forth here will make them way more efficient, I think. Look at that. We've got food and we have a little bit of firewood. We don't have homes for these people, so life is kind of miserable right now. But there we go. Let's do, let's do the small barn. We'll take care of the hunting cabin here in a moment. Don't you guys worry. Oh, I feel so bad that we lost all those people, though. Three down this early on. Uh, it's not a death sentence, but it, it doesn't feel good. That's for sure. So these four, how are you doing? I love the fact that we're getting all these blueberries. It makes me happy. I would like to clear off all this stuff, but we'll do that with the forester as well. And uh, reserve of firewood as low. Again, not concerned. It's right there. Only one person can work this chopper, but they're right there. Not a big deal. They're gonna they're gonna keep keep up to it. Now the thing that stinks is, if we want to get more homes, we're, we're probably gonna need to uh, get more firewood production here. Now the tiny shacks are not very well insulated. Small basic dwelling that will allow family to grow up size three. Oh, we gotta get rid of these. Uh, we have to let people move in and have more kids, otherwise we're dead. All right, hold on. Uh, wooden home. What about stone? Thirty-five and. Um, this will allow people to do four. 16 wood and 8 stone. Alright, you know what? We should build them out here. Okay, you're going to be our next project. and We're, we're going to shift. We're not going to... Like, we're going to boot somebody out of their home first. Preferably somebody that's like young aged female. Right here. These guys will be booted out first. Because, um, tiny shack, oh my gosh, it's not even the tiny house. It's not even a tiny house. We'll boot them out because they can have kids, a lot more children, um, than the other families. Or, or actually maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe I should boot the ones out. Like, like this is a good, this is a good family. Um, they can have, she can have a few more kids. 31, 27. Okay, actually I should probably boot them out because they're the oldest. We can maybe prompt them and say, hey, we're all going to die. If you don't have more kids. So uh, maybe we could do that. All right. Hunting cabin is done. Uh, barn is almost complete. It is supplied. They're currently working on it right now. So that's good. It's late winter. We don't have any firewood, but we have enough in the home. So we're okay. We've got a tiny bit of food. Not a ton. Just a little bit of food. Um, oh, my goodness. What, what on earth should I be marking here? I guess I could mark a little bit of tree harvest here and here. And they'll bring these here real quickly once they're done with some of their other jobs. Man, come on, barn. Uh, this will help out a lot. This will let people go back and forth. Having a home here will help out a lot as well. There, a lot of that efficiency will help our current situation. I mean, I guess technically 
Oh, I don't need to boot people. I have four people waiting for a home, so we won't boot them. Okay, but we need to get them out of that home. It's not going to allow them to grow past three people, which is really currently bad. Um, okay, what, what are you doing? Are you actually bringing in food? You are. Mussels, crayfish, and oysters. And oysters. Come on. Let's go, people. I need... I need... Uh, no teachers the first 10 years. That's right. I was going to say, I don't want to educate yet because we have so few people, but... Dang. First 10 years. We're into year three. Okay, small barn is complete. Freaking yeah. Let's put that up here so we can mark the progress there. Wooden home is marked. This is the next thing that's actually getting built right now. They're removing the five things that are in the way over here. Look at that. Immediately, just boom, boom, boom. So we're putting this home in here. Uh, we're going to have issues with firewood, I think. I really do. Part of it is the homes are bad, so they're not very good for insulation. And the laborers, we've got two, but we need to we need to get more stuff kind of put away. So let's collect all this stone. It's quite a bit of work for them to do, but we'll, uh, we'll get it going there because we need to start building these... Uh, even the wooden homes take a bit of stone, and those are going to be better than the tiny shacks. Look at that. Look at that food immediately coming in. Look at that number come up. Oh, this, this house being completed is actually going to help out quite a bit. So I'm excited to see that. Even the oysters are going there. They'd rather go They'd rather go here. I guess that's technically closer than going the, to the lean-to. So that'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, what I should probably do is I, I, I'm concerned about contamination. You know, we're not going to be able to have an herbalist, so we do need to, like, separate people. So we'll have a group of people here, maybe a group of people here. I would like to do stone homes. Let's look and see what the options are. Okay, we do have good options for mining. We can do a stone and salt mine, so we can start getting that taken care of. Why don't we put that down this way? We'll mark it, and we won't build it yet, but we'll do a stone and salt mine so we can start getting stone homes in place. And quite frankly, I just need to plop down where they're going to be. Okay. Now we will we will not build those yet. I want the other home to be finished first. It doesn't even have its stone yet, but it's getting there. I'm going to bring this down to two builders and say maybe are we, I mean, I guess we're okay on food. I don't need to be bringing this in. But our coats are getting a little bit low and having a hunter working might actually help us out a little bit. There's nobody that uh, we haven't finished the home so we don't have that that efficiency of people like living close by yet so let me hold off on that for a minute okay we've, we've kind of looked at that area a lot there's a ton of actual resources just around i don't think we need to we probably actually don't need to do that mine anytime soon we probably just need to clear off the stone that's over here and then worry about we're going to need to worry about um tools here very soon so if we look at this um it looks like it's just blacksmith stuff okay good but it's the normal setup we're going to need ore and things like that. So the stone and salt mine, fine, that makes sense. But we're also going to need the iron mine. So we're not going to need it right away because there's so many extra resources around. So we'll do this, the iron and coal mine. Okay, home is supplied. It just needs to actually, you know, get built. So that's good. All right, what do we want to prioritize next? We're gonna need we're gonna need sustainable source of logs. Currently, we're fine because we have so much stuff around us. But maybe what I should honestly do is just mark, you know, mark things to be picked up. And as I need things prioritized, I will use the prioritization tool. I don't see any rules saying I can't use the prioritization tool. Okay. I was like kind of worried about that. So the town arrival I would like to have just just for some sheer statistics so we can keep ourselves honest about food production and, and things like that. Small barn is getting used quite a bit. I'm really happy to see that. So that's good. Uh, we've got a little bit of firewood, which we can actually save up a little bit. We built that right at the winter when we were completely out. So now we don't have to, to worry about, you know, uh, so much like cold temperatures. We're above freezing right now, which is really good. I've got some extra laborers, though, because of uh, us... Switching out and not doing the hunting cabin. I think I'll go ahead and put one person on there for now. We'll need to up that later. But now is not quite the time. I don't think I'm going to keep, you know, watching these. We know what they are. That's fine. I'm not worried about it. I don't know how much ore we have. Uh, we've got 12 there. No, a 6 here. Not none. So that's 18. That's not enough to even build a blacksmith shop. 
so we're gonna have to keep that in mind hmm. yeah, let's get this stuff here as well that's again it's a lot of work for for the people to actually clear all that stuff out okay so it's winter they won't have to go back and forth into their homes a lot more so hopefully these jobs will be completed a little quicker this wooden home is is uh man we're gonna have to get that done oh sorry hold on now i will have to pa pause the game and step away if my kids wake up that's the only little stipulation that i have currently so currently we have 17 citizens eight families four homes we're about to remedy that uh we're overproducing on food and fuel not on stone yes on logs which is weird i don't have anybody producing logs we're just bringing those in we're not making any tools and we're using three a year. That's not gonna last as much longer, honestly. Um, as people age up too, they're gonna grab tools and it's gonna become an even bigger issue. If we look at food, oh, and then it just, you know, we're starting to taper out here a little bit. We'll leave it at year one for now. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. All right, everybody, I'm gonna make a cut here. When we come back, I'm gonna leave the timer running so you'll see like a couple seconds delay. So uh, when we come back, we're gonna we're gonna keep trying to get this wooden house done. We need to get the forester done as well. We could just start uh, switching out these homes. That's probably my biggest priority right now, is switching them out, getting a bunch of raw resources, and making sure we're set up to expand. Because we're gonna get we're getting some kids like almost of age right now that we need to uh, we need to get paired off. In fact, once this home is finished, we'll know kind of what age they're at as well. So thanks all for joining. Let me know what you think in the comments, and we're gonna do the next video starting now.